Doesn't take much right now for trees to come down and some of the ones that fell this morning damaged homes, cars and power lines. ABC 10 News reporter Nate Holmes joins us live from Bay Park this morning where a massive tree got all three of those homes, cars, power lines and even forced an evacuation. Nate, any word yet on when the people who had to leave that building are going to be able to go back home? Well, Jared, good morning. So neighbors tell us that they have been able to go back inside of the building. So that is good news. But unfortunately for the family whose unit was damaged, they won't be able to return home. We're told that that family has lived here for more than 25 years, and they also lost their car as a result of this tree coming down. But just to give you an idea of what we're dealing with out here, you can see that large tree kind of stretched there across the driveway damage to that unit there. Now the tree trimmers have just come through within the last five minutes, so they will be getting work uh, on this tree very, very shortly. Now this road just opened up as well. Not too long ago, uh, as fire crews though and police crews had this area blocked off for much of the morning. Neighbors stood outside in the cold and windy weather as emergency crews evacuated their Bay Park apartment complex. This happened just after five this morning on Littlefield Street, just off of Marina Boulevard. No one was hurt, but this large tree uprooted, bringing down power lines in its path. The strong branches piercing the side of the building into one of the units. Another large tree came down in Del Mar, this time on top of a home. There was a loud cracking noise as well. It was, it, it was, it woke us up and that's when we realized there was glass on the floor and on the, on the bed. The elderly couple says the force shook the home. And they woke up to a shattered light fixture in their bedroom. This beam is broke. When they got up to look around, they found this. Came into the living room and saw that a tree had fallen over and uh, punched right through our, we've got uh, uh, a two inch uh, thick uh, pine roof and it punched through it and uh, broke up our living room pretty bad. The couple says they are hoping to get the tree removed and repairs made before the wet weather rolls in this week. This was the scene in Fashion Valley just after 2 a.m. I was driving along and then all of a sudden crash. The driver says he was heading down Friars Road when a tree landed on top of his car. I didn't see it coming down. I saw the, the half of the tree landed in the front. The, uh, I think I think the uh, the trunk hit the back. But it's a big tree, so it kind of hit the whole car. The driver says he is OK, but his car was totaled and crews were able to clear the mess from the road shortly after. Now, neighbors here in Bay Park have partnered with a local coffee shop in the area. It's called Sea Ridge Coffee, and it's located near Alvarado Hospital. Now, all of the tips from the month of February will be donated to the family who has been displaced from this apartment building. As you can see, that damage right there, that tree piercing through the side of the building. Of course, just keep in mind, we're continuing to see heavy winds throughout the day. If you see a downed tree, stay away from it because it may have power lines that have been brought down as well. We want to make sure that everyone is safe. Live in Bay Park, Nate Holmes, ABC 10 News.